be aware of this. I just want to get out my Google Docs so I can make some notes as well. Hey Sal, how are you? I understand if you fall asleep. Totally get it. I don't know how long this game goes for. I'm assuming it's not a very long game. Um, first I'm going to put the warning in. I'm thinking about getting rid of the howlers at the end of the um, the reviews. What do you guys reckon? Maybe I could do like a best part and worst part instead, you know? you guys reckon yeah I want to try a new kind of just to see if it becomes a better way you know so I thought I instead of doing the howlers maybe I could do best bit worst bit after I've gone through all of the information on it and stuff let's uh, just have a quick look at what Steam says for it so Side scrolling adventure in the short. Oh! Alright, so what comes after is a side scrolling adventure and short, heartwarming story about learning how to love yourself. Help Vivi and her journey on the train to her afterlife and back. Interesting. All right, let's get started, shall we? I'm just trying to set up my uh, note taking stuff. Alright. I'm 
okay. Seems simple enough. Right? Charlie's gone full camouflage mode. I know, right? Alright, let's get started, shall we? Wait! Wait, I can't make notes at the same time! It won't let me! Ah, I made it right on time! Huh? The last train, it's not that crowded here. I might be able to find a seat today. so beautiful look at how she runs so fast she just shuffles Five memes a day. <laughs> oh, I like the way they go. There, there. I'm sorry this happened to you. It's not like, hey, I can fix this. It's like, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that it uh. That shows active listening skills. people here. Yes, that worked. What? Oh. What about unhinging your jaw sideways to a have to rush anyway. It's not like anyone at home cares. And there's nothing to do either. I shouldn't think about it too much. Yeah, I should... Shh. Can I put it in windowed so I can like...
I don't think I can adjust the size of it though. Windows are shit. Ooh. Huh? Huh? Did I oversleep? Oh my god! Am I locked in? Oh no! What should I do? 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 Relax, relax, relax. I should relax. Take a deep breath. Okay, I'm just locked up. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to... <gasps> We're moving. What the hell? Why is the train moving? What's happening? Ugh. Relax, Vivi. Relax. I mean, if a cat was here, I assume this is a pretty safe place. Right? Right? Let's not overthink things. I should be able to find the driver here. Hmm. Driver? Is that what you called someone who controls a train? Are they driving the train? Wait. Focus, Vivi. That's something I would do. I'd be like, do they drive the train? <laughs> Focus. should make notes in a book not on this where's my black book the one with all my experiency stuff Hang on. I have a black book that I write everything into here it is hey Shiloh you gonna come out and be sociable hmm? who was an anti-social puppy Who's an anti-social puppy? Me, planning my island. Alright. I have my pen. Let's play. Yes, it's an early day today because I have Christmas dinner tonight with my family. Can I go this way? No. Let's go this way. Look at the way she shuffles. She couldn't like walk normally. See all the symbols in the back? Look at the top, the top, the symbols. Huh? What are these people? Are they, are they what I think they are? Wait, does this mean I, I have died? That's, this, this doesn't feel bad as I thought it would be. I mean, it didn't hurt. Or did I just forget about the pain? Anyway, if this is really the afterlife, I can consider myself lucky. I didn't feel pain, it cost me nothing, and I've been considering it for a while anyway. You won the jackpot, Vivi. Wait, if I really died, Mum will be so sad. Oh no, I don't want that. And if and if I died inside the train, then the cleaning guy would need to handle my dead body. Oh, he would have a bad day because of me. Then, then, whoever sat next to me on the train would find the entire experience traumatic. Someone died next to them. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. What should I do? No, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. Huh? That lady looks like someone who works here. I bet she knows where this train is heading. Hello? Excuse me? One by one, please. Your turn will... Oh, not this again. Another living being on board? 
What are you doing here, kid? I... Actually, I don't know why I'm here. You what? Oh, the humans failed to do their job again. I have but one request. One! For them to make sure the train is empty at night. Wait. Maybe it's not the humans. Maybe it's them. But why? What are they trying to achieve? Uh, ma'am, excuse me. Can you tell me where this train is heading? Well, as you can see around you, dead people board on this train. Yes, I kind of noticed that. To be precise, this train is boarded with beings who died in the proximity of 10 kilometers from the station today. But where are they going? To what comes after, of course. What comes after? Yes, what comes after. No more explanation for the living. Am I going there too? Of course not. I would never allow that. The living should never cross when it's not their time. But I think I saw a cat just now. The cat that just walked past? Honey, she's also dead. So far, you're the only not dead creature here. Then what should I do? Go back to the living, of course. I can do that? Yes. We will take you back. Really? Thank you so much. But... Eh? I can't simply ask the train to return now, so you'll have to wait until tonight's group reach their destination, and then we'll go back to the station together. That doesn't sound too bad. How long will it take? Don't worry. We will finish this trip before the morning comes. But what am I supposed to do in the meantime? Beats me. You can just wait in the car you came from. Ooh, cool. That's really good, cool, Random. Or, you know, walk around, try to get to know the folks around here. They always have some stories to tell. And maybe, just maybe, you can help them with something. Or they can help you with something. Help me with something? Honey, come now. I've been around long enough to notice that you're not complete. Perhaps you'll learn a thing or two here. Anyways, I have to work. The list won't fill itself. Hang on a second, I should realize something. I have to change the game. Hmm, it doesn't have it as a game. It doesn't have it as a game, so we're gonna have to do it that way. And this one... Doesn't have... Why does it say Guardians of the Galaxy? It's not even the title. Getting to know these ghosts, huh? So what should I do? I could just return to the car and walk up in and wait. Or should I walk around? Epic is PC, isn't it? Let's start by getting to know this chick. Hey. Hey. The last thing I remember was on a truck barreling over me. And then I'm here. Did it hurt? Only for a very short while. I suppose it's because of celebration, right? I didn't suffer too long. It's okay to grieve your own death. Thank you. Oh, right, okay, hang on. Wait, what? Oh, you said Anthem. Oh, Anthem's on Xbox, right. Right. What are you doing here anyway? This train is not for the living. There's been a mistake. Do you reckon they will allow me back if I say it's a mistake too? Um, I don't think that's, I'm just kidding. I know that won't fly with the conductor. Don't worry. By the time this train arrives, I will have already I will already be content with myself. You're so sure of yourself. Not always. But when I'm not, I try to forgive myself and try again. I suppose you need to hear that, huh? Yeah. 
thank you. That's really lovely. This is really lovely. Aww. The living world is but an egg. We are preparing for the real life after death. Just you wait. Um, heed my words, young lady. I'm so sorry, I need to get going. Talk to this dude. Huh? Hey, are you a ghost? No, I think you are. Ah. So I'm truly dead. I see. Thank you. Um, okay. I hope I've done enough good in life to make it worthwhile, you know. I'm sure you did great. Heh. <laughs> How do you know that, kiddo? Because you think like... Because you think like that. Thank you. You are a good kid. Alive and healthy, too. Should really be here? I shouldn't. There's been a mistake. I see. I'm glad the mistake happened. Why? You got to be my brief company. It's a pleasant company. Oh, thank you so much. I don't hear that very often. It's good that I said it then. See, even after your death, you still do good to others. Not a cram it in before judgment day, right? <laughs> Go walk around, I'm busy. I was so close to a promotion. Work has been going so well. And the cute guy from accounting has been responding to my advances too. Who's messaging me? Oh, just... Why now of all times? Um, are you okay? I will be. But now, please leave me alone. I want to grieve the loss of my fleeting youth. Uh, okay. Hey. Are you in charge of this train? No. Put me through. You have no idea what I'm capable of. I got money. I can buy this whole train. I want to turn back. I don't think that's how it works. No. Uh, I must get going. I'm sorry. You ever heard of those generic stories about how we should spend more time with our family before we die? I used to laugh at them, but now I can't stop thinking about my family and the time I won't be able to spend with them anymore. Hey. To think that I just wasted my life making somebody else richer. Life is often unfair like that. Hear, hear. Well, at least death seems a way fairer than life. How are you so sure? Humans don't run this little one, uh, this one little girl. Nothing and no one is gonna mess it up. That's a bleak outlook to our human fellows. What? Are you one of those optimists? No, quite the opposite, really. I'm just humoring you. Good. I mean, I didn't get to be positive when I was didn't get to be positive when I was alive. So now let me have a piece of hope. A hope that whatever entity is running this show is fair and just, unlike the clowns I worked for. What if the judgment is fair, but you don't like the outcome? You mean if I got thrown into hell or whatever? Or whatever is the equivalent. Hmm. I don't think I did much good in life, so that's possible. But if that means people more evil and cruel than me got what they deserve too, I think it's worth it. Then I hope what awaits you is something you deserve. That sounds like a threat. Sorry. I I'll be going now. Some of these people are strange. I will finally be able to reach my wife again. Life without her was very difficult. I'm so sorry to hear that. No, it's okay, kid. I'm here now, am I not? I waited for ten years I could wait another train ride. Um, I'm sorry, but you seem so sure you will reunite with her. No one else here seems so sure. Faith is all I have. You're still young, and you still have your life ahead of you, from the look of it. The longer you live, the more faith and belief triumphs. I don't think I understand, sir. I'm sorry. I don't think too much of it. Live your life as you see fit and cherish the good people around you. I will, thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, when they talked about seeing light at the end of the tunnel, 
I didn't expect this to be literal. Truth. I, I used to love romantic comedy moody, movies, you know. Most of them are about a boy or a girl looking and chasing after someone they love. And when they finally get together, that's it. Happy ending. As if getting together is the end of the journey. It's not. And I learned about it the hard way. What happened? The usual, you know. Things were great at the beginning, until they weren't. And then what ha that happens. It affects you emotionally. And sometimes, even physically. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's too late. Looking back now, I shouldn't have drowned my sorrows with those drinks. There are better ways. Ways that wouldn't have ended my life and ruined the people around me. I'm sorry for venting it out a bit at you. Eh, no, it's alright. I don't really know who you are, but don't make the same mistakes I did. There is always a better solution to whatever problems you're facing. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Yeah. Why do you think why do you think that means to transport the dead? takes from the f why why do you think that the means to transport the dead takes the form of a train uh-huh I, I don't in mythology a train is certainly fresh modern and interpretation of them is it the is it developing alongside humans technological growth what are the theoretical and metaphysical implications of this upon the, upon the importance of humanity um i'm sorry i must be rambling to myself again you don't need to answer that i'm just saying what's on my mind I should write an article on this as soon as I get... Uh, wait, I'm dead. I'm sorry about that. You can ramble to me if you like. You're so kind. But I'm afraid I will bore you. You're the live kid they were talking about, aren't they? If possible. Will they believe me? No, I suppose they won't. How unfortunate. This looks like a kid. If this was truly the afterlife, I hope my mom is waiting at the end. Having to go alone is scary. Are you afraid? A little bit. But Mom said she will be waiting for me. In my dream. You didn't. I mean... Uh, no. I didn't purposely try to go after my mom. If that's what you're implying. The doctor said it's head... Headed... Headered... Hereditary? Yeah, that. She said it means we suffered from the same illness. I feel sorry for my mom. It really hurts. I suppose it's good that she went first. Less pain for her. I'm very sorry, little kid. Why? It's not your fault we were ill. Well, yeah. It's over now, anyway. I don't feel any pain anymore, and neither does my mom. So don't worry, Auntie. Auntie? I'm not that old. Never mind that. Will you be here alone? Yeah. And your journey is not over, Auntie. Good luck. Yo. Hey. Do you suppose I have a chance to haunt my ex? Pardon? My ex. You think I can ask to turn around and give him one last surprise? Why do you want to haunt him? He made my life a living hell. This is my only chance for payback. Um, I know what you're going to say. I should forgive and let go. Maybe? But I don't know how your ex has wronged you. So it would be presumptuous of me to tell you off. Ha, huh, it's okay. You didn't say it, but I know deep down that is true. I need to let go. Holding grudges isn't healthy. You're dead, though. No such thing as healthy or unhealthy. Girl, are you telling me to be a vengeful ghost? That's not what I said. Ha, huh, I know. I'm just messing with you. My last chance to mess with someone alive, I guess. Huh? This is part of the train looks different. It's a dining car. I don't think dining cars exist on the local commuter. Oh, who am I kidding? As if logic and city transportation planning applies here. Ooh, I can get a drink. I just wanted to see what there is. Um, hello? Leave me alone, kid. Yeah. Uh, well, he got me at the last. At last I die a martyr. And if I'm lucky, he will go to jail. I'm sorry, but I'm so curious. Yeah. Some people live a life full of vengeance, kid. Don't be like me or him. Will I hear the detail of this? No. Because I'm not sure I want to know. Good call. Um, I was hanging on, you know. 
But my dad thought it would like to see me wake up healthy one day. But there's the point of no return. And he told me to let go if I have to. So I let go. Your dad loves you, you know. He doesn't want you hurting any longer. Maybe so. But I can't let go of the thought that he gave up on me. Please don't think that way. Was he loving you when you were alive? Very much. They'd have no doubt. It's hard for him to let go of you two. He just wanted you to stop hurting. I guess. Thank you. It helps to hear it from somebody else. Especially someone still so full of life. Am I? Yes. Maybe you think you have one foot in the grave already. But more than anyone, you want to be alive. We walk away from this conversation with much to think about. Yeah, I wish you luck. We'll talk to the people first. Hey. To witness your child's death is the worst thing. Ten years of living through that. Now, now is peace. I'm sorry to hear that. Perhaps they will be waiting on the other side. I sure hope so. I miss him. Hi. No, Hi. I, I already spoke to you. Aww. Thank God I don't have to go through it again. Oh, you're the barely alive girl. Barely alive? Hang on. Ah, you know, not here, not there. They have been talking about you. Um, listen, piece of advice from one dead person. You have to choose, choose life. It's much more worth it. I know things might seem hard and it sounds easier to just let go. But this is one thing you can't get back. Better enjoy it while you can. I know I would. Thank you. Let's get a drink. Can we get a drink? Hmm, no one's at the bar. Well, it's a death train anyway. Who would need food and drink here? And another train carriage. What's in this one? <gasps> oh my god, there's a baby! Of course, I'm an owl. Although everyone can communicate with each other here. So it's not a surprise. Why are you here, Mr. Owl? What happened? I'm here because it's my time to be here. Whoa, you're wise. I'm an owl, yes. I guess you know what happened to you, and where you are going right now. I do. I did say I'm an owl, right? Don't really get what you mean, but I guess the stories are very true. The owl is one of the wisest creatures out there. Not all of us, but pretty much. Care to share some wisdom with me? I'm wise, yes, but the answer to your question, I cannot. Your wisdom is something to find out for yourself. Not sure I can do that. You can, and you have to in order to survive. Gosh, thank you for your wisdom. It's not like I needed more pressure in life. That's not wisdom. That's just a fact. And you'll be able to handle it. That's also a fact. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Al. The pleasure was mine. Anyway, you should explore this place a bit more, lady. Are you kicking me out? Yes. Ouch. Okay, okay. I was planning to talk to the others anyway. I'm sure you'll learn a lot on this train. It was nice talking to you. Same goes for me, Mr. Al. I really don't want to talk to the baby. Hi there. You look different from us. Um, yeah, I'm not really, you know, dead. Oh, are you the girl they're whispering about? Are they? Yes. I heard they are going to take you home after they take us to what comes after. When you get, when you do get back home, please live your life to the fullest. You never appreciate what you have until you lose it. I I'll try. Thanks. Oh my, I'm not prepared for this. Hello, miss. Oh my god, sweetie. Oh no, I'm so sorry. What are you sorry for, miss? You did nothing wrong. You're so young. I noticed that too. There's nothing I can do about it anyway. But how can you speak normally like adults? Miss, you're inside a train that takes people to the afterlife. And the thing you're wondering about is how I can talk to you? Adults are weird. You're right. It still feels weird, though. Don't worry. You will be surprised by how well you can understand everyone says on the train, but you might not understand what they mean. Okay, you've talked with the other passengers here? I did. 
Some of them have the same reaction as you have. No surprises there. Death comes to everyone. Why would they be surprised? That's deep for a baby. Miss, don't underestimate babies. For all we know, the adults are the ones that always fail to understand us. That's a really good point. I know. Anyway, they might be surprised because, hmm, I guess they just felt sad about you. But everybody dies here. Except for you, of course. They should focus more on being sad for themselves. Or the people they left behind. Do you feel sad about the people you left behind? Me? Maybe. I hadn't really got the chance to know them. So it's hard to know for sure. Besides, judging from some of the passengers here, this world doesn't seem like a pretty nice place to live. Uh-huh. I guess you dodged a bullet here. <laughs> That's not a nice way to say it. Don't tell me. Did you die because of a shooting? No. Phew. I shouldn't make death-related puns here. Did you find life difficult, miss? Uh, me? I don't know. I guess, yeah. It's not easy, but that was on me. It's my own fault that my life is hard. Why is that? Huh? What do you mean? Well, do you, why do you think it was your fault? I... I don't know. Oh, I know. Somebody must have told you that, and you can't stop thinking about it. No, no one ever said that to me. Well, then why? I'm not even sure myself. You're weird, miss. You sound like my parents. They keep apologizing to me, even after I left my body. They did their best. What is there to be sorry for? Yeah, adults think too much. We're thinking about we think about things that are beyond our capabilities. What a waste of energy. You can spend the time and energy to choose which toys to play with. Or which cartoon you watch. And yet adults choose to spend their energy and time in their heads. In our own heads? Yeah. There is no monster in front of you. Why do you put one inside your head? You wouldn't understand, I guess. And that's a great thing. At least you don't have to go through all this. Maybe you're right. But you do have to realize I'm missing a lot. From the stories people told me here, it seems like life is something worth living. It's hard, but full of wonder. At least that's what some of the older folk here told me. I'll never know. I'll never know the ending to that story about the seven dwarves. <laughs> because my dad didn't get, a ch didn't get a chance to finish reading it. I'll never know how steak tastes. I can only smell and see them. I don't have my teeth yet, you see. I'll never know what school is like. Though I've learned so much only by laying down in the hospital bed. There are so many things I never experienced. But I guess that's alright. How? How can you be so content? What is content? What, what is it? Well, it's a feeling of peace, I guess. You have such a peaceful mind for someone who just died so young. I am dead, yes. Which means there's nothing I could do. Why should I think about it? Yeah, that's right. Miss, you don't have to compare yourself to me, you know. I know so little. That's why I don't really think things through too much. You're not me. You know more. You have been through more than things and more things too. So please just think and get your go at your own pace. Yes, you're right. I won't be able to be as content as you, but I can try. Even if I fail, that's alright. I can try again. While eating steaks and watching many adaptions of Snow White. Now you're just trying to make me jealous, miss. Haha. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Couldn't resist. That's alright. At least I can see you laugh. Apparently one can still experience something new, even after death. Anyway, I want to talk to more people here. It's the only way for me to learn more about the world anyway. So goodbye, miss. Take care, kid. I'm finally free from those humans. But I kind of miss them a bit. You should be more honest with your feelings, Cat. What are you talking about? You love them, right? Well, I loved them enough. You shouldn't put too much love on someone, you know. You can only do that for yourself. Of course that's what a cat would think. Huh? As if there are other ways to think. Now will you please let me rest? At least I can sleep peacefully on this train. It's been years! I hope I can finally meet my humans again. You didn't live with your other humans? At your home? I only have one human. 
and our home is the whole city. Our roof is the sky. They were beautiful. But it got cold sometimes. Aww. Oh, uh, you're human. Did they go away before you? Yes. I didn't know what happened, but suddenly he just didn't move. Aww. I'm so sorry to hear that. Shiloh, I love you. You've been alone since then? Yes. But other humans were kind to me. Sometimes they gave me food. Some even allowed me to sleep under their roof. Not inside. Hmm, it seems like you lived in a pretty kind neighborhood. Not everyone was kind to me. Some were pretty mean. But I'm sure they have their own reasons. Dog? Yes? Nothing. I'm sure your human is waiting for you. Really? I believe so. Woof. I can't wait to see my human. Can I pat the dog? They said curiosity kills the cat. What about the kitty? Oh, that's a good idea. I have to check the kitty. Then why am I here? What happened to you? I was curious. Didn't you hear me just now? I did. I'm sorry. It's okay. Curiosity really takes you to places you didn't expect, huh? Indeed. Oh my god, there's a little kitty cat. Can I pat the cat? Yes! I can pat the kitty cat too! Can I pat the monkey? <laughs> What is this thing? Oh, uh, where am I? Meow. Oh my, it's a kitten! Kitty cat, are you by yourself? Yes. Do you know where my mom, Mioma is? Or where I am? I don't have the answer for both, I'm sorry. But you're going somewhere fun, I assure you that. Really? I'm sad I can't meet Mioma. But I also can't wait to play at my new home. You'll have fun, kitten. Oh. Can I pat the kitten? Oh, I can pat the kitten too! <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just like, oh my god, every single time. Woof, where are they taking me? My master must be worried. Do you remember where you were before you got here? Yes, I was at home with my family. My human family, that is. What happened there? I don't know. All I remember was they were crying, and I was in pain. But seeing them cry hurt me even more. Aww. So I tried to cheer them up, but I didn't have the energy. I tried to use all the energies I had left to bark, and suddenly I'm here. They must be worried sick. Aww. I don't think so. Woof. Why? Do you think they don't love me anymore? Of course not. They cried for you. They love you. But I'm sure they know you're in a better place now. Or at least on the way to a better place. But there's no better place other than home. With my humans. Oh, dog. You loved them a lot, huh? What do you mean? Is there anything beyond loving one's family? It probably is, but not for you. Anyway, you don't have to worry, okay? You're going to a better place. And you can wait for your humans in peace there. They're coming too? Yes. Maybe not soon. But yeah, they're coming for you. Woof, woof, woof. I will wait however long it takes for my humans. Woof! Can I pat him? No, I can pat him! Okay. What is this place? It feels like a forest inside a train? Just when I thought this place couldn't get any weirder. What the fuck? Hey, you! Huh? Who's there? I'm here. I don't see anyone. Seriously, human? You're standing among so many plants, and you say you have n you see no one? Typical humans. Wait, are you? Yes, I'm standing next to you now. Holy! I'm speaking to a plant. Oh God! Of course, that's how a living human would react. I'm. I'm sorry. It's just that I never imagined that I would be able to speak to plants. Yeah, yeah, you people studied us, even considered us fellow living beings, and yet you're not surprised. You're, and yet you're surprised about being able to communicate. Oh no, I'm truly sorry. 
You're so sorry. Sure. Anyway, I just want to say hi to the only living thing on board. So yeah, hi. Hello. Um, what should I call you? Call? Oh, you mean name? Call me whatever you like. Our kind never needed names anyway. All right, then. Can I call you Tiny? Seriously, human? Out of all the creative names you could give me, you chose such an offensive name to describe my size? Oh my, oh my. I'm sorry. Whatever. You can call me Tiny. Really? Thank you, Tiny. Ugh, I bet you call your pet generic names, too, like Kitty or something. Huh? What did you say? Nothing. So what's your name? Me? My name is Vivi. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, yeah. So you lost. Uh, hmm, not really. I mean, yes, I was lost, but at least they said they can take me home. Now I'm just walking around while killing time. Whoa, girl, don't talk about killing things in this train. Oh my, that was a slip of the tongue. Anyway, how's the ride so far? Well, it's been very eye-opening. Deep down, I still believe this might be a dream. Nah, it's not. It's real. Oh well, either way is fine with me. Yeah, you just gotta enjoy the ride. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I won't hold you much longer. You should use your time well here. Talk to everyone, maybe. And be nice at the plants when she return. Will do. Psst, bro. Seems like the girl is staring at us. Hush, don't be too loud. She might hear us. But they don't understand our language. Um, I can hear and understand you just fine. Whoa, is she talking to us? No way. Humans don't even notice existence. Until they are hungry. If she noticed us, it means she's gonna eat us soon. Sorry again. I'm not trying to eat you or anything. She's human. She must be lying. Just pretend we don't hear whatever she says. Maybe she'll ignore us too. Alright, alright. You don't want me around. I'm leaving. Bro, she said she's leaving. Why is she still here? I don't know, bro. Are you avoiding me? Oh, you're talking to me? Of course. Why are you so surprised? It's not every day somebody wants to talk to me. Why is that? I'm just a normal tree with nothing to talk about. Nothing? I can talk about photosynthesis. Consider that I've been doing it for my whole life. Other than that, even speaking with you now gives me anxiety. I wanted to say you should be more confident in life, but then I remembered that I no longer live Yes. All the more reason not to feel anxious, right? They're right. Don't think about it too much, though. I also studied, also still struggle with it from time to time. I guess no matter what your circumstances is, everyone has something in common. That's right. Hi, you're a deer. Being in the middle of the food chain sucks. Hey, Mr. Deer. Did a predator catch you? A human? Pardon me. Yes, you're right. Sorry to hear that. It's all right. Still sucks, but it's okay. That tiger also has a family to feed. It's the law of nature. You don't hold a grudge? I'd do the same if I was a tiger. And I heard there won't be any bloodshed at the place we were going. How do you know? I'm a deer. We know. I wanted to ask more, but it seems like it's not the place to ask. You'll know one day. When your time has come, and if you deserve the knowledge, you should keep that in mind. I will. Another plant. Oh, what a beautiful flower. Thank you. Even though this is not my prettiest form. Oh, you can grow to be more beautiful? Yes, but humans are impatient. Somebody plucked me from my root before I got the chance to grow. I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you that kind of human lady? The ones that use my kind to find love and breed more humans on Earth? No. Oh my, I would never think of doing that. But other humans would. Yeah, they... they would. Why did you tell your people love to... Why do your people love to do that? I, I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry. Don't say sorry all the time. I was just asking questions, you know? But still, you're here because of us. True. But you just so you know... It's not like we flowers don't like to be appreciated. We love to be considered as beautiful gift, but we prefer it if humans didn't just pluck us out of before our time. I'll keep that in mind. I can't change everyone or undo what has been done, 
But at least I can change myself and those around me. So we can be more mindful of your kind. That sounds good. Can you pat flowers? Besides, how do you expect to find love if you can't even wait for a flower to fully bloom? Good point. No, you can't pat the flowers. Well, but can I pat the deer? There was a giraffe! Can I pat the deer? No. Nah. Oh god. How many more things is there? An elephant? Vines? We can't talk and she'll just walk away. Okay. Whoa, a giraffe? What are you doing here on a train from the city? Pretty sure there's no wild giraffe around here. That's because I'm not wild. I lived in the zoo nearby. Oh, did something happen at the zoo? No, I was just sick, that's all. I'm sorry to hear that. You don't have to be. It was a sweet release. I didn't mind at all. How does it feel to live in a zoo? That's a difficult question to answer. I've been living in the zoo since I was born. So I don't really have any comparison. Oh, okay. I don't want to disturb you any longer then. Enjoy the rest of your ride, Mr. Draw. Thank you, human. Wow. <laughs> Surprised to see an exotic plant like me? Of course. You don't seem so surprised to see that I'm surprised. Girl, I'm exotic. This happens all the time. Well, I mean, it's not every day people can see a plant like you around here. How did you end up in the city, by the way? Collection. Excuse me? I'm part of a collection, owned by someone who loves gardening a bit too much. He has his own botanical garden for plants like me. Well, considering the area, I'm not so surprised a rich person would have such a particular hobby around here. Yep, even then. I'm still considering as one of his I'm still considered as one of his most prized possessions, you know. You don't mind me asking, why are you here? No special reason. My time had come. That's all. And you don't have a problem with that? Girl, everything that lives must die. No one lives forever. I have to follow this nail. I lived a happy life. What's more to ask? I wonder what can I wonder what consti constitutes a happy life for plants. We all have different definitions for that. For me, simply being ca taken care of is enough. I'm glad you got to experience a good life. Oh, trust me, I feel the same. An elephant, human? What do you want with me? I'm sorry. Wait, you're different? You're not like them. Them? The other humans I have to deal with when I was alive. What makes you think so? You don't make me feel threatened. Oh, did you live with the bad people? Bad would be an understatement. They killed my parents, took their tusks, then took me where your people live. To be entertainment, to take your people around the same path. Every single day. Oh my. I'm so sorry to hear that. I thought they're not allowed to do that in the zoo. Zoo? That's the place where humans watch other animals, right? Yes. Oh, I wish I lived there. But no. I had to live somewhere else. Every day was hell. I finally reached my limit. And I'm glad it's all over now. I'm so sorry. So, so sorry, elephant. You don't have to be. What you have to do is to be not like them and to not support them that's enough for us you can do more that would be mean a lot for my kind i'm not sure how i can help but i'll try at least people need to know hopefully that will push some changes thank you for even thinking that human it's the least i can do that's more than enough when i go into this train i was glad that i don't need to endure any longer i can finally meet my parents again for our time back then was short now I feel more than just gl glad. I hope all the good things in life for you. Thanks. But I have to earn those wishes. Damn, Nail. 
It's the thought that counts. But I'd love to see you try from above. Wish me luck. Can I pat the elephant? Oh my god, I can hug it! Oh, that is so adorable! <sighs> a swing? What a weird place to have a swing. Oh. Eh? What? <gasps> Ho, 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 a lively soul, and not too shiny, but lively nonetheless. I must be the luckiest three to be graced with a lively soul. Even after mine left the world. You talk too? But in a very different way. And what's so different about the way I talk, young girl? You sound real? Like somehow I'm not at all surprised to hear you talk. Because you watched Pocahontas. Damn it. Compared to the other passengers here. Ho, ho, ho. I'll take that as a compliment then. So what brings you here, young one? I was just wandering around. Waiting for this train to reach its destination. And then they'll take me home. I wasn't asking about that, dear. What brings you to this train? Huh? I don't know. I was just about to go home by the last train, and I overslept. When I woke up, I was already on board. Oh dear. You can't just randomly get into this train. This is a special train for someone unlike you. Yeah, I know. It's weird that I suddenly got here. It's not that weird, child. There's a way for a living to bring for a living being to ride this train. Huh? What are you talking about? That person, they have to be connected. Who got too close with death. They have to make a connection with death themselves. Are you telling me that I wasn't a coincidence? There's no coincidence if we are talking about death. There is only fate. You were destined to ride this train because you, in one way or another, have touched death. It's alright if you don't want to talk about it. The fact that you are here with your life intact it means death is giving you a chance. A chance? Why? Who knows? Maybe they love you. Or maybe... They think you still have a purpose to fill. In the land of the living. Ha ha ha! Being loved by death? That's really something. It really is something. But also nothing at the same time. Death loves everyone. How else do you explain their devotion to the difficult job? Of maintaining life and death of every single creature on earth. Way to ruin a moment of joy, old Troy tree. You are special, but so is everyone else. I think you misunderstood the meaning of special. Oh man, we're still getting caught on it. I need the other one, and it's my nail file kit. I need to file these nails. They're like chipped on the end, so I have to like kind of file it back. I still have much to learn, yes. How old are you, old tree? And why do you know so much about death? How old am I? Ho, ho, ho! Let's see. I can't remember when they first put my seed inside the earth. But the first time I tasted the sun, humans were at war. That doesn't say much. We were at war too many times. Yes, I can't remember the exact time. But the people arrived just... People from the West just arrived, and the original humans from the re region were fighting against them. Oh, that was a pretty long time ago. Yes, it was. At, and the answer to your question about how I know a little about death, you'll be surprised. 
by the amount of life conceived, born, and taken away under my branches. Every time death visited me, we talked a bit. They are good friends with a lot of old trees like me. Do you have a lot of friends around your age? Not so many, sadly. Most of them don't reach half my age. It's because of war, be it because of war, or because the humans took their life away. Oh. I was one of the lucky ones. I guess. Ho ho ho! I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. Death is just a passageway for a better life. To the good place. You seem to be very sure that we're heading to the good place. Off my head. Of course. I'm good friends with death, remember? Not everyone goes to the good place, do they? Only good people deserve it. Are you a believer? Um, it's not that. Ho ho ho. We are trees, child. We do no sins. And we're the most tormented, yet very important souls on earth. No kind of divine rules would disqualify us from the better afterlife. We were born on earth to serve and suffer, and we can't do anything about it. It's all right, kid. I've been calling you many names, too. Pardon me for forgetting to ask. What is your name? My name is Vivi. Ah, Vivi. What a beautiful name. It's so full of life. Both in words and in meaning. So tell me, Vivi, once you leave this train, what will you do? Go home and then sleep, I guess. To be honest, I haven't put much thought into it. Ho, ho, ho. You are not that different compared to us trees. Why? Try asking all the trees on board the train. What would they do if they were allowed to return? I assure you the answer would be they'd be sleeping or photosynthesis. Heh, <laughs> even trees have more purpose in life than me. Which is why I asked. You have so much potential. Why not utilize it? It's not that easy. You are right. It's not that easy. But everything is worth doing never is. Hey, come on. I just got into this mess a few hours ago. That's time. That's if time flows normally here. I won't just simply find a new life purpose in a few hours. Your journey tonight is not yet done, dear. What if, even after I returned, I still haven't found my purpose? Then make one. How? That's for you to decide. You have experienced a thing not so many people, not even gods, ever have. Tell them about your story, however you like. Oh god, did this person who make this game, like, ride a train and come back and tell the story? Or do nothing. That's also alright. Finding a new purpose sounds fun. I don't know if I can find one tonight, but I guess the night is young. The night is older than everything we know. Of course it is, Mr. Tree. But yes, the night is young. You really are in the source of wisdom. Thank you. I believe I have served my pur but I believe I have served my purpose with you, Vivi. Now go. Find your purpose. Or do nothing. The world is not in your hands. But your world is in your hands. That is such a very, very cool quote. Thank you, old tree. 
I wish you well for the rest of your journey. There is only a short journey left for me. But thank you, dear. Can I keep going past the tree? No. I spoke to everyone. Now what do I do? Go all the way back? Maybe he works here. <laughs> good evening, miss. Um, good evening. Do you also... How should I ask this, huh? Ha ha ha. You want to ask whether I'm dead or alive? Yes, sir. I'm sorry if this is rude. Don't worry about it. But to answer your question, the concept of life and death does not apply to me. Huh? You work here? Just like Granny Conductor? Something like that. Are you the chef here? You could say so. Interesting. I thought that dad didn't need to eat anymore. No, you're right. They don't need to eat. And what are you doing? I'm here to give them parting gift. Parting gift? Why don't you give it a try? Eh? Me? But I'm still alive. If I accept the parting gift, doesn't that mean that I would die? And if that's the case, would you mind? Of course. Oh, interesting. I thought you'd be thinking about doing it for a while. Isn't that right, Vivi? How did you know? How did you know my name? How did you know about that? I just know. It's the perk of being me. So do you want to take an offer or not? Uh, uh, that's what you want, right? I know. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think I want to go yet. Understandable. Thank you. But just so you know, my offer's still open. No strings attached. What? Do you want to taste the parting gift I usually serve? You don't have to part with your life afterwards. E, are you even allowed to do that? I manage this kitchen and bar. I can do whatever I want. But, 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 what now? You, you don't, don't you have a more pressing customer? That's very thoughtful of you. But no, my place is the most popular spot on the train. Most of the beings who ride this train immediately visited my place upon arrival. They don't want to miss the experience. My job is more or less done for the night. Uh, okay then. It's not a bother. I would like to taste your dish. Parting gift, thank you for ordering. And it's not my dish, it's your dish. Give me a moment. Like your favorite dish? Ooh, your order is ready. Eh? This? This is the food you gave to people as a parting gift? Yes and no. What do you mean? Why don't you tell me about the dish? It's your dish, after all. What do I have to explain? It's a mug of hot green tea latte and a plate of nazi goring with sunny side up. Yes. So you serve this to everyone? No. Then what do... what do... Why don't you give it a try now? Alright, alright, let me take a bite. This... It's been so long, but I remember this. Can you tell me what you remember? He looks a little bit like the dude out of Monster Prom from this angle. Um, sure. It was Sunday morning. I was eight years old. Mum made this Nazi goring for us. It's only Nazi goring, I know, but Mum was a single parent. She had to work multiple jobs to make this sure my sister and I could get a proper education. Sometimes, even on the weekends. That Sunday morning, as my gaze was fixed on the TV screen, I could smell Mum's cooking, and I left my favorite anime to follow the scent. Usually we had to cook for ourselves, and Mum would simply buy something for us, but she didn't have to work that weekend. She was in a real good mood, so she made something for the three of us. What well, was it? This was that the first time? That was a weird thing. It wasn't. She cooked for us quite often, despite her being busy. I don't know what Sunday. Why Sunday felt so special to me. It wasn't even anywhere near my birthday. Or any of our birthdays. It simply had a special place in my memory. Thank you so much for this. Don't thank me yet. Why? You haven't drunk your order. 
Hmm. Okay then. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how he's doing now. Pardon? Ah, nothing. This change just reminds me of a dear friend of mine. Do you have special memories with him? Yeah, it was a very difficult evening. Did something happen? Almost. Thankfully, nothing happened. But still, it was a difficult evening. And he was there to help me get through the night. What did he do? He listened. And sometimes he encouraged me. But mostly he listened. He made this drink for me. You know the funny thing? Let's pretend I don't. Ha! <laughs> a hot green tea latte. It's just a cup of instant green tea latte. You can get dirt cheap at the convenience store. But it was the best green tea latte I'd ever had. I guess I understand what kind of things you serve here. You don't serve dr food and drink, you serve memories. Memories attached to the food and drink. That's one way to put it, but yeah. I serve the best meals my customers ever had in their life. Most of the time, it's not about the food itself, but the memories attached to them. You can have the most delicious food on earth, but you can, can't enjoy if the time, place, people, and everything else are not right. It also works with the other way around. That's a really nice thing to do. I exist to stir. Um, if I may ask... Please, ask away. How long have you been doing this? I can't really tell you the exact number of years. But I've been doing this since the concept of life and death on Earth has existed. That long? Hmm. That's got me wondering. How should I ask this? Yes, you're right. Huh? What? They did ask for the apple when I visited this place. <laughs> they did ask for the apple when they visited this place. Oh my, that's one hell of a revelation. And please stop poking inside my head. Sorry, can't help it. Oh well, anyway, once again, thank you very much. I might be the luckiest person on earth to be able to experience this while I'm still alive. You're not the first one, but indeed you are one of the very lucky few. Well, I hope I didn't waste all my luck and life by having your dish. Amen to that. Alright then, I gotta go. I'll see you again someday. Hopefully not too soon. Agreed. And hope I hope during your second visit you'll have something new to eat and drink. Huh? Yeah. That was the plan. Okay, um I just wanna see if I got any achievements. Okay, I thought me oh I did I did get uh some. I lost my itchy Itchy. Itchy finger. Where did it go? <gasps> no! I pressed the wrong button! Oh no! No. Oh good. Woof! Oh my god, I was like, no, I clicked the wrong button! There's different endings. And why didn't I get the cat? Alright, we're gonna go back to the cat. I spent long enough here. Maybe I should go back to my car. Okay. I wanna see the cat again. I wanna speak to the cat. Can I speak to the cat again? Nope, I can just pat it. Alright, let's go back to our car. It is cute. It's interesting and cute.
it actually. It is uh it is interesting. It's um it's not bad. I'm kinda it does get a bit long winded. Um and it is and morbid sometimes. And she walks really slow. But I feel like having the mobility kind of really makes it kind of help the story. It's not like a I'm going to throw it in your face kind of thing. I mean, the reality of it is not everybody dies simply, you know. There are different reasons and ways that people die. What do you reckon, Welshy? Do you think it – what have you been thinking of it? I think it's a good way that they've kind of done it some I mean uh, they've made it very yeah everybody's different and stuff and I liked the the different plants like that was cute all right phew what a ride huh I'm gonna need a 24-hour sleep after this huh the kitty back! Hey kitty cat, what are you looking for? I'm sorry I didn't bring any food with me. I'm dead, meow. Ah! Good gracious! I've been through so many things this evening, and talking cat is still a surprise for me. Get it together, human! Now pet me! <laughs> pet me! He says. Oh man. Yeah, exactly. It's a it's a heavy topic, but it's something that needs to be discussed. Some people need and it's and it's done in a, a light-hearted way. It's not done in like a depressive way. It's done in a a very light-hearted manner, if that makes sense. was that other what was that other game he played that was like a death train type thing do you remember what it was we played another indie and it was to do with death and dying no spirit fairer that was right spirit fairer is about the same same, same sort of topic and it's very light-hearted as well but the, again very i don't think it's as morbid as this one this one kind of feels like a bit darker spirit fairer was very light um and stuff and, it, and you kind of forgot that you would you were like a death spirit fairer kind of thing you know whereas this one it's it's much more i don't know because it's a shorter game um maybe so this is how cats would talk to humans if we could understand you yes and you will do what we say anyway damn you're cute that's how we survive by stealing and being cute. <laughs> huh, sounds like someone I know. So I noticed you've been following me around, kitty. Uh, you human and your generic names. You have a name then? What should I call you? Kitty is fine. Anyway. Why are you following me? I'm just curious. Curious about me? Is that simply cat's nature? If you were just another dead person, I wouldn't care at all. But you're still alive, and I'm judging you. We cats are good at judging humans. The same cat cannot be said about us. That's right. Meow. Judging me for what? By what, by the way? For something important. But before that, I'd like to get to know you better, human. Tell me about yourself, and, tell, and I'll tell you about me. No. Can I ask first? Sure. So, is this your ninth time here, kitty? That's not how it works. When we lose a life, we simply wake up like we were sleeping. Just like in your video games. Oh, I don't play games that much, but I understand. So this was your ninth time dying? Meow. We usually waste the first few of our lives when we are kittens. Learning takes sacrifices. <laughs> Can't believe the much 
literally given the cat nine lives. True. I wish we could learn how to live life with an additional eight lives like you. You have better brains than us. That should compensate for the additional lives you don't have. <laughs> I wish. Why? What do you mean, why? Why is your brain not enough for you? Uh, I'm not sure. Even with this brain, life is still not easy. Heck, sometimes I feel like our brains just make things harder. Nine lives sounds like a better option. Human, we were given nine lives because we only learned things the hard way. Dying nine times involves a lot of pain, you know. Yeah, living once also involves a lot of pain. I guess each of us has our own unique problems. True. So you live with your family? Recently, yes. With my mom and sister. Recently? I used to live by myself, renting an apartment near my office. So did my sister, but then mom's condition got a little bit worse and someone had to stay with her. She's working? Well, we have this little convenience store at home. Mom saved some money from the years she spent working. Her dream was to build a restaurant, but that's hard. And it's even harder than before nowadays, you know? So she decided to open a small store, selling general necessities, and sometimes weird stuff she finds online on her travels. Nowadays she mostly just sits and has a chat with our customers. Sometimes we get help, usually from the local neighborhood kids looking for extra money. But I figured having a family member around would be better, so I decided to move back. Not having to pay rent is great, but the times I spent on the road is pretty crazy too. What about your sister? She doesn't really have any options. She come back home almost every weekend, but she still lives by herself in the central business district. Say, don't you have a garden at home? A garden? We sure have. Mom loves gardening. It's not big, but it's enough. Sounds like a lovely home and a family. Thank you. I'm pretty lucky to have them. And they're also lucky to have you, human. I'm not so sure about that. I'm just a burden for them. Did they tell you that? What? No, of course not. That's mean thing to say. Then why do you think so? Because, because it's true. Oh, did you hear them talking about it behind your back? I'm sorry to hear that. No, actually, you didn't accept my apology. No, I've never heard them actually say it. You are confusing me, human. If they never said it, then you're, that you're, if they never said that you're a burden, why would you think that? <laughs> this kitty, it's an example of why having nine lives is better than having a bigger brain. I don't really get it, but having a human's, but if having a human's brain won't let me think that I'm the queen of the world, I don't want that. Told you. Have you finished interviewing me yet? Yes. I think I have assessed you enough. So what's the verdict? I think you would be the perfect person. I need your help. Hey, I don't think that I'm capable enough to help anyone. But shoot, I died today, you know. That's for sure. Yes, I was on my way home after looking for food. Before a reckless driver crashed into me. Oh my. I'm so sorry, kitty. I don't mind dying, really. Being a stray cat is not a life full of glory. But I left something behind. And they won't let me rest in peace. And what's that? Kittens. <gasps> Oh no! Yeah, there are four of them. I went out to eat so I could nurse them. But, you know. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, kitty! You don't need to feel sorry, human. But humans let this happen. We are the worst. Oh yeah, that I agree. Although humans and dogs are always racing to be the worst. Back to topic. I hate to do this, but I'd like to ask for your help. Tell me what I can do. Do you want me to avenge your death on the driver who killed you? That'd be tough, but I'll try. No, silly. Is it possible? Yes. Is it possible for you to take my kittens to your home? Eh? You want me to take care of your kids? You won't mind? Human, I'm dead. And you're the only living person here. But the conductor and the chef are here. Do you think they care? They don't? Well, they probably do. But they're busy. If they need to make sure every soul in in their jurisdiction rests in peace, they would die. Even though that concept doesn't really apply to them, is it all right? Yeah, exactly, it does, it does, doesn't it? I can't even take care of myself, let alone take care of four kittens. You'll be fine. I've been watching you since you boarded this train. You don't love yourself enough, but that lack of self-love was allocated to the others. 
Wait, but that lack of self-love was allocated to the others. Us cats have more senses than you, human. We knew. Are you sure? Yes. I don't know whether I can be enough for them, but I'll try. Mum would love them too, and my sister. She'll get used to them. That's the spirit. You don't need to worry. You are like three. They are like three or four weeks old. It just needs somebody to feed them, give them a home and love. Any tips from the mum? Love them well. That'll do. Where can I find them? Hmm, how do I explain it? Meow! Oh, I know. Focus on me. What do you... Just focus and think about what's probably inside my head. Oh, okay. Whoa, what's that? Do you see them? Yeah, they're not too far from the station. Yes, so please... Don't worry. You know you can ca count on me. I don't know, but maybe you're right. I, I don't know, but you know right. I don't know, but you know right. Yes. Thank you so much. Meow. I've done. You've done enough, Kitty. You can rest it well now. Once again, thank you. Stop mentioning it. I have one more request, though. What is it? Can I stay on your lap until I arrive at my destination? Of course. Thank you, human. Pleasure is mine. No. Oh, miss, miss. Whoa, am I dead? I sure hope not, miss. Hey, I'm back. You never left. You've been stuck inside the train for hours. What time is it? It's almost 4 a.m. Time for the first train. Thank God it's the weekend. Wait, what day is it today? You're right, it's Saturday. Phew! You should thank our station head for finding you in here. Oh, sure. <gasps> it's you! Hello there. Oh, you've met her? Good, I have to leave you both. Got something to do. Make sure nobody is left inside the other trains, okay? Will do, ma'am. You, you, you look like someone who's just seen a ghost, dear. Why are you here? I work here, remember? I thought you only worked in the other train. Haha, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Even with me watching both sides of the station, they still have to manage to sneak they still manage to sneak you in. Imagine if I only worked on one side. They? You mean your star? No, I'm talking about death. That sneaky bastard. <laughs> oh. How was your trip last night? Had a pleasant journey? <laughs> I have to say it's a life changing experience. Good. You are very lucky, you know. For most people. Yeah. For most people, the trip is a sign of life, ending experience. You still got your life ahead of you. Let me have a look. November 6th. Oh my god, it only came out in November 6th. So it's been out for. Just over a month. Yes, I know. And I'll do my best. That's the spirit. Now don't get too comfortable staying here. I'm sure you have a promise to keep, right? Oh my, yes! Thank you for reminding me. I'm off, Grandma. <laughs> Sleep well, kid.
game. It's going to be interesting to do, um, it's, I'm going to have to do a lot of thought when it comes to writing about this one because of how much it, it's about mental health um, for the review. And you, yes, you, thank you for playing. Oh, oh. Sorry. That's probably coming through the microphone too. Finished?